guys, welcome back to another Friday Faves and Fails. I'm gonna whiz through things this week. It's gonna be snippy, snappy, short. It's not, but we're gonna try because I've got a few things to talk about and not a lot of camera battery. First random thing of the week is this, Dettol Surface Cleanser uh, with Lime and Mint. This is the most amazing, I don't wanna be like a hinch person, but this is the most amazing cleaning scent I've ever used in my entire life, ever. I used to use um, mint essence, what do I mean? You know what I mean, oil, essential oil, um, in soapy water when I was cleaning years and years and years ago. And this reminds me so much of that and I need to buy some of that because it would be a lot better to do it that way than I do it this way, but it smells so good. Funnily enough, I went to have my nails done. We were talking about nonsense. Can't remember how we got onto the subject, but I said, I used this cleaning spray the other day. It was the nicest smelling cleaning spray I've ever used in my entire life. And I haven't seen it since. And my nail tech said, was it lime and mint? How weird is that? That's really strange. It's not like I said, oh, everyone's talking about this thing. Have you heard about? It was completely random. I haven't heard anybody else recommend this. It smells amazing. So just throwing it out there. I would say the biggest fail of the week is this flipping weather. Super duper over the rain now. I know we all are. This morning I woke up, I actually thought, be okay about the rain because as soon as it gets super warm and we can't sleep, we'll be really, really miserable. It's annoying. The rain is annoying. I'm trying to make my peace with it. Um, I have also just purchased, I haven't even used this yet, but I'm telling you I've purchased it as a pre-warning. I'll be talking about it next week. Um, the Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. Helps heal very dry skin. It says, um, soothes, moisturize, very dry and irritable skin. So this, I'm hoping, is gonna help with the itchy, itchy thigh situation. I will let you know, I saw it today in Asda, I picked it up, I was like, fingers crossed for me. Um, I've been trying two different moisturizers this past week. Fenty sent me some skincare, which was very exciting to be on a Fenty list, I mean. 35, I don't know. She haven't, they haven't sent me any makeup. They have sent me some skincare. This is really, really nice stuff. So this one's the evening stuff, the Instant Reset Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. Everything's in a bit of a funky packaging. Everything is refillable, kind of. So it comes out, like this middle part will go in, but I think you also get one of these. It's just the outer part of the packaging that you keep and then you get the refill. It's not very much cheaper to get the refill. You've still got all of this plastic. Don't really understand the refill, truth be told. Uh, but there is a refill system in place. Um, also with this particular one, it's got a little one of those that you can scoop it out because it says it's long nail friendly, which I appreciate, but I just use the back of my nail. Um, and then on the other side is that, oh no, it's in that side. There's also a little mirror in there as well, which is cute. So this is um, a very, very light, and yet super, super hydrating. It says gel, and that's probably, it says gel cream, that's exactly what it is. Really, really nice for nighttime. I feel super hydrated in the morning, and it's just a nice experience using the product. I feel like it's doing something, it feels nice on my skin, and the next day I feel like my skin looks hydrated. This is, what is this called? Literally no idea. Had to Google it. Fenty Skin Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer SPF 30, which is pretty good. Um, it's also 20% off Fenty and Fenty Skincare online on Boots right now. So I will link to Boots below. So this is currently 25, 60, but it would be 32 pounds. Ouch. So the same thing with this is that you can kind of get a refill. I think, there we go. So that goes back into this, but it's just like the outer, you don't need this. You could just buy the refill. I don't really understand. Uh, but it's quite a cute little, it feels like a luxurious packaging, plastic as it is. This feels, let me see if I can show you how it, I like that it gives you like just the right amount as well. It feels so nice. It goes, it stretches, it goes a really long way and it's very thin, but it's got kind of a, it almost becomes a little bit oily, but then it does absorb. Mm. It feels really fresh on the skin as well. And I was wearing it yesterday and I was the most hungover and someone said I looked radiant. And it's all I was wearing was that Fenty moisturizer. So if that's not an advert for it, I don't know what is. I just, I'm really, really into it. And I, it's not often that I find a moisturizer and I'm like, this is really nice, especially at the prices that there are. I feel like I would pay that. One makeup item, kind of, 
it is a brush. It is the Morphe uh, M173. It's a concealer brush. I use this almost every day. I realized I haven't spoken about it probably since last year when I first purchased it. This just kind of like buffs. It's like a tiny little buffing brush, really. Um, it buffs in all of my concealer. It's not focusing today. Will we? Possibly. There we are. Um, it's just a tiny little buffing brush. I like to do it under my eyes, although I do also like to kind of pat there as well. But mostly, if I get a breakout, I've got any particular kind of redness, I can just kind of stipple it on. And it gives me a slightly heavier coverage over an area that if I was using my fingertips, then the finger would lift off the product more so than this does. So I think it's really, really good if you've got breakouts or redness that you want to cover, something that you want a bit more coverage in that area. But even under the eyes, it's, you know, it's versatile. I really enjoy it. I'm going to get another one to do um, like cream shadow with because I think this would buff out cream shadow really nicely. A little ode to some tweezers. Um, I don't even know where these tweezers are from specifically, but I've been using some angled tweezers that were in my bathroom for months. And I found these tweezers in a makeup bag and it was like the holy grail. These are the best tweezers I've ever used for really dark, you know, that proper stubbly facial hair. If it's just eyebrow hair, go for it. Any kind of tweezers is gonna be fine. But you know those like stubborn, thick, mm, don't wanna come out hairs? You need a really hard looking um, pair of flat tweezers. The flat tweezers, this is what they're for. They really, really grip. And they're very tight. You know, sometimes when you put your tweezers together, and you can just see there's like gaps or they're not 100%. These are just like clamps. If you can find a pair, if I can find these, I'm gonna guess they're probably from Boots. I will link to a pair that I think are similar to these, but real square edges if it's for facial hair, especially those like mm, stubborn ones, you need the square uh, like tape measure. I want to say scissors, then I want to say tape measure. Tweezers. Last thing I want to talk about is this coffee grinder. Um, I think it was, it was definitely less than 20 pounds. I want to say it was 17. I think I bought it from Morrison's. Very, very basic. I use it all the time. Very simple. Lots of people since when I um, first said I got this in a vlog, since then lots of people have told me they use this for different things like breadcrumbs, um, different herbs and stuff. So it is multi-purpose. My favorite beans that I'm using with them at the moment are these. I have purchased these, but Taylor's also sent me some of their espresso beans, so I can't tell you whether or not these were gifted, but at some point I have been gifted them. Um, but I'm just about to make some more right now, and it made me think, mention this, because people might be interested. I don't think it's necessary. I can't tell you that it's a better cup of coffee. I know some people are like real coffee purists. I can't tell you that it's like revolutionized that at all. I can tell you that it is easier to find a bigger selection of coffee beans than it is to find coffee grinds, grounds, ground coffee um, in the supermarket. It's much easier to find espresso in beans than it is to find ground coffee. And if you've found a particular one that you like, sometimes they've got the beans but they haven't got the other. You see my point? I have got quite a lot of coffee beans that I've acquired but no grinder because people have sent me them or people have given me them as gifts because they know I'm into coffee. And I couldn't actually use them. So it felt like something that I wanted to have anyway, but it's definitely not an essential. And if you found ground coffee that you really like, I really like the Marks and Spencer's one. I really like the uh, Morrison's Espresso if I can find it. Um, they're fine to use with a cafetiere or to use with um, a mock pot as I do. Uh, but a coffee grinder is nice to have. We've just finished season eight of Below Deck and it came from nowhere. Like the end, there were supposed to be two charters left and the chart season was canceled. I thought we had like maybe four or five episodes left. I had no idea. So now we're on to the reunion episodes, which are my favourite episodes anyway, because that's the bit where everybody kicks off for everybody else. The whole time you're watching a reality show, or me particularly, that's the whole time I'm watching it, I'm like, can't wait to hear what Andy's got to say about this. Andy being Andy Cohen, who's the moderator of the like reunion episode. And then people write in and there are tweets from people and they're like well we don't think this was okay that you said to this person and the whole time we're watching the show we're going ah oh, I can't wait to see what people have got to say about this thing that happened can't wait to see what she says when she says what this person said behind her back love it it's my favorite part so we've saved the reunion episodes for tonight that is very exciting I've mentioned Below Deck before but if you've never watched it get on it there are four seasons on Netflix and the rest is on Hey You <sighs> prepare to lose some time because it's very addictive. But that is it for today. I can't believe we got through that without my camera dying because my battery's been lasting no time at all recently. 
I think I need a new one. Um, but thank you for uh, joining me. I will be back on Sunday. I've got a Primark shop with me. I'm also going to do the haul along with some other things next Wednesday. So look out for that. I'm going to be on a no buy throughout June. So we're going to have some content on things that I haven't purchased and some no buy stuff, some budgety stuff. I know some of you enjoy that. Uh, if you'd like to join me on the no buy, we can join together in solidarity of not purchasing things that we feel like we need, but we don't need throughout the month of June. Uh, I hope you're all well and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.